Church of the Big Bend. Amen. A church you can call home where we honor God, love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. We also, we have a passion for God and a passion for soul. Amen. Something that we need to do on a daily basis is to have a passion for God and a passion for souls. Amen. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. No one else is going to do it except us. Amen. He's the head and we're the body. Amen. Yes. So the body goes out. Amen. As a matter of fact, I want to read something to you. Well, I'll read that afterwards. But anyway, welcome. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Okay. And we ask you to prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Nobody can receive for you except yourself. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And if your mind is somewhere else, just arrest it and focus on what God has for you. Amen. God has yeah, something yeah. for you. But sometimes our minds is just going every which way. Oh, yeah. Man, what am I going to do after this? Man, what time the Cowboys come on? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got all kinds of things going on. We're planning already for next week, man. We got so many priorities. <laughs> we prioritize everything except spending time with Him. Yeah. And we need to do that on a daily basis. It says, yeah. seek you first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added on to you. Amen. Yeah. So prepare yourselves to receive. Praise God. And we're going to continue with my God is bigger. Mm -hmm. Number two. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, we used to do that in the play fields, you know, where we'd say, man, my, my dad's bigger than yours. My brother's bigger than yours. My whatever is bigger than yours. Amen. And man, we just bullied around. And kicked each other around, amen. But praise God, my God is bigger. I mean, not only in heaven, <laughs> bigger in earth and under the earth, amen. Yes. As a matter of fact, when Jesus got when he was resurrected, he went to hell and he took the keys of death, hell, and yes, the grave yes, from Satan. <laughs> I'm sure he was shocked when he says, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> <laughs> he says, "I'm taking back the keys," amen. And he did, and he took. All that were there. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. So let's uh, make this declaration together and we can get started. Yeah. Amen. Uh, I hold my brand new Bible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking to the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes we, we just try to say, well, that's not for me. That's for somebody else. If somebody else would have been here, so-and-so would have been here. If she would have been here, man, this message was just right for them. Well, what about you? You're here. You need to receive. Amen. So God deals with all of us. As a matter of fact, I say it like this. God wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct you. Remember, yes. he's our Heavenly Father. We're his children. And our Heavenly Father, he wants to correct us. Yes, you know, does. once in a while we get doing things we ain't supposed to. And uh, he wants to correct you. He wants to correct me. Amen. So praise God. Anyway, prepare yourselves. My God is bigger. And you know what? You need to tell that not only to the enemy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to tell whoever. My God is bigger. You need to tell yourself and remind yourself. You know, because again, we magnify our problems more than we magnify our God. Amen. And let me see. I wrote it. I wrote it this way. I wrote it this way. I said, My God is bigger mm -hmm. than your God. My God is bigger than anything. You know, anything covers everything. <laughs> Amen. My God is bigger than the devil. And I wrote him with a low case D. Devil, any mountain, any storm, any giants, or any care. Whatever care is coming against you. Amen. And care could be trouble, care could be yes. uh, problem, care could be whatever, anxiety, worries, whatever. All it covers all. Listen to this. God's God's plan for you is bigger than your problem. Amen. So He's got a He's got a plan for you. And it's bigger than whatever problems coming against you. Amen. Remember, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he wants to keep you from fulfilling what God wants you to do. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So God's plan for you is bigger. God put you here to win. God put you here to succeed. Yeah. Amen. The enemy is going to see to it 
He's going to try to steal, kill, and destroy and come against and put distractions and things mm -hmm. against you yeah. not to fulfill what God has called you to do. Amen? So again, magnify your God. Excuse me, let me see. It says magnify your bigger God than your problem. Mm -hmm. he, and uh, he's got on the mountain and he's got in the valley. And you know, yeah. sometimes we go up and down, but still, he's not changed. The ones that have changed is us. Mm -hmm. Amen? We allow ourselves to get down. But you know, even when you're down, he's there. Mm -hmm. When you're up, he's there. Amen? Mm -hmm. He never changes. We change. But we need to stay steady. We need to stay steady, steady, steady. Draw close to him. Stay faithful. Stay focused. And stay in faith. And you know, when you stay in faith, you're going to press on. And you're going to step out in faith and press on to what God has you, wants you to do or has you to do. He got great things for you. You got to see yourself the way he sees you. That's the big thing. You know, when you spend time with him, have a relationship with him, you start seeing yourself the way he sees you. Mm -hmm. Because the world is going to disqualify you. Friends, people is going to try to disqualify you. Because they can't do it. They don't want to do it. They're too lazy. Mm -hmm. And they're going to want you to join them. They say, oh man, you do that tomorrow. You do that another time. Right now is, is our time, you know. Say, no, right now it's God's time. And I'm going to spend time with Him. Amen. Because yeah, He wants yeah. me to succeed. He wants me to win. He didn't put you here to lose. Yeah. Remind yourself, God didn't uh -huh. put you here to lose. He put you That's here it. to win. Amen. And you got to press on. You got the greater one with you. Mm -hmm. He's never leave you. He's never going to leave you nor forsake you. He's always with you. If you feel lonely, say, Lord, I need you. Mm -hmm. He say, I'm right here. I haven't gone anywhere. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Keep going. We got some good ones for you. It says, God is bigger. Yes. Keep going. My God is bigger than your God. Yes. <laughs> you notice, my God is big uh -huh. capital letters here. Amen. Yes. And little God is down here at the bottom. Whatever God you have is now bigger than my God. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Keep going. There we go. And we kind of review some of these from last week. It says, the giant in front of you is never bigger than the God yes, inside of you. Yes, yes. Amen. You know, and God wasn't inside David, you know, because Jesus went around, but he knew he was serving God. And he knew, he knew his God, and he says he's proven himself. He's already been there for me when the bear came, when the uh, lion came. And he knew who, who, he's, who he was in him, and he knew uh, who's backing him. Amen. Amen. So I say, <laughs> praise God, and he pressed on with this giant that was in front of him. We got daily giants facing us all the time. Mm -hmm. But still, the greater one is in you. So I'm going to press on. It ain't going to stop me. Because my God is bigger. Amen. So praise God. Keep going. Hallelujah. It says, my God is bigger than any of my problems. See? Yeah, yeah. You made them yours. You said my problems. If it's my problems, you've got them. But you know, he says, give it to me. Cast it on me. Give it to me. Why are you still holding on? Why, why are you calling them your problems? Amen. If you give them to him, they're not yours anymore. <laughs> if you give them away to God, cast it on him, give it to him, they're no longer yours. So these problems are not mine. Amen. These problems are his now. Amen. So I don't have any problems. So I am free to press on. Amen. Keep going. I like these. And we talked about this. If you haven't gone to talk to you, your problem, now is the time. Here we go. It says, Dear problem, you may be busy, but my God is bigger, stronger, willing, able, and ready. Amen. And when you give all these problems to him, guess what? We stay battle ready. We stay battle ready. So when he calls on us, we are ready to go. That's it. We're ready to press on. Amen. Yes. Praise God and say, Okay, Lord, what is it you want me to do today? May he woke you up. Spend yes. time with him, worship him. Praise Him and thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. You say, I will rejoice and be glad in this beautiful day. You've given me what is it you want me to do today. Amen. And He'll let you know. But He's stronger, He's willing, able, and ready. So yes. that's God's children. Battle ready. Amen. Keep going. Don't tell your God how big your storm is. Tell your storm how big your God is. Storms, problems, troubles, whatever it may be. Lacks. Habits, whatever, you tell them, my God is bigger. Amen. 
We just got to get in the habit of doing this because we're already in the habit of confessing the wrong things and doing the wrong things. Mm -hmm. So we got to redo ourselves and get the word of God going in us and confessing the right things and not the negative things. That's it. Amen. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. Proverbs 18, 21. Yes. So now we're going to start confessing the right things and doing the right things. Even if it don't please your friend, even if it, if it don't please the world, things have changed. Man, you changed, man. You can't hang out with him no more. Good. God's going to bring the right people around you. You trust in him. He's going to bring the right people around you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Because I'm not a people pleaser. I'm a God pleaser. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Keep going. These are good. Yes. There you go. God is bigger than what? Your failures, your fears, uh, your mistakes, your uh -huh. insecurities, your procrastination, yes. your complacencies, your sins. Bottom line, God is God bigger. Is bigger. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now again, the, the enemy, your mind, the battlefield of the mind is going to bring all these things up all the time. Mm -hmm. Then you have past, you know, with your past. Don't, don't be a prisoner of your past. Mm -hmm. Amen. We've been set free. It's yes. time to get away. Yes. But my God is bigger. And we got to tell ourselves and confess this until we start marching with our God. And we start doing it for God. And we start pressing on. Amen. Remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. That's it. That's it. Amen. When you start walking in fear, you ain't going anywhere. Mm -mm. Amen. You ain't going anywhere. Peter stepped out of the boat in faith. But as soon as he started realizing, his mind started working and says, I can't do this. Your friends are going to remind you. Satan is going to remind you. You know, things are going to come against you. It says, man, I can't, I'm not able to do this. I, I, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. Mm. And, and you're going to stop. Mm. And you're going to sink. <laughs> yes. Keep going. I like these. Okay, right there. Isaiah 55, 89, King James, is, says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, uh -huh. neither are my ways Neither are your ways my ways, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. For as the heavens are high, higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Amen. You're talking about a bigger God, and He's telling us right here. Mm -hmm. My ways are different. Amen. That's why we go to Him. Yes. He's our Heavenly Father. Amen. <laughs> and we want to have relationship with Him. Amen. And get in His Word and study His Word and get ourselves. Thinking the right way, yeah. thinking God's way, yeah. and confessing God's word. Yeah. Amen. Instead of the negative things, the negative ways, mm -hmm. you know, that we've been doing all this time, confessing all this time. It says your plans, God's plan for you is bigger than your problem. Oh yeah. You're gonna have problems. Oh yeah. But you know, greater is he that's in you than he that's in your world. And it says yeah. God's plan. Yeah. For you is bigger than your problem yes, or yes. problems. That's it. Amen. And uh, go to the next one. It says Romans 8, 28 through 32. I'm going to read it from here. <laughs> I'm going to read it from, from here. You, you can look at that one. But it says, and we know that all things work together for good to yes. them that love God. Romans. To them who are the call according to his purpose. Yeah. We're called according to his purpose, okay? He has a plan for you. And 29 says, For whom he did foreknow, yes. he also did predestine to be conformed to the image yes. of his son, that we might be the firstborn amongst many brethren. 30 says, Moreover, whom he did predestine, uh, them he also called them, he, he also called and uh, whom he called. Mm -hmm. says, then he also justified yes, and yes. whom he justified them as also glorified. Yes. The 30, 31 says this. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, mm -hmm. who can be against us? Who can be against us? Amen. Just remember this. <laughs> if they're coming against you, they're coming against him. Yes. If God be for us, who can be against us? Mm -hmm. Who's are you and mm -hmm. who's backing you yeah, yeah. amen yeah. And know that greater is he that is in you greater. than yeah, he yeah. that is in the world bigger yeah. is he that is in me yeah <laughs> greater is a bigger my god is bigger amen. is in me than he that is in the world 32 says and he he that uh spared not his own son 
but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Amen. He didn't spare his son. He, he sacrificed his son. Amen. But he says, he, he uh, how he not with him also freely give us all these things. He wants to bless you. And he wants to be there for you. Amen. And he wants to protect us. Mm -hmm. So we need, we, need, we need to know this. Amen. Romans 8, 28 through 32. I included a few. Yeah, but it, it, it is good. Amen. This is a different translation. Uh, but it is a good one. I read you from uh, King James. Jeremiah 29, 11. Everybody knows I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. You've got it up here. It says, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declareth the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Listen to the Amplified. For I know the plans. He's got plans for you. Mm -hmm. You know, the world's going to say, you don't know anything. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, you know, you can think, you got to think more highly of yourself. God chose me and God's got plans for me. See yourself that way. That's it. And, and he says, he, uh, Amplify 29, 11, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans and thoughts I have for you. You, you, you know, you can scratch the you and put Jose. Or you can scratch the you and put your name there. Yeah. Personalize it. I know the plans and thoughts I have for you, Jose, saith the Lord. Plans to, uh, uh, plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have future and hope in Him. So praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And not for disaster. Because that's what the world wants to do for you. <laughs> Man, you ain't good enough. You, you, they bring disaster on you right away. They just yeah. qualify you in a heartbeat. God qualified you. Yes, Amen. So you're qualified called of God. Yes. Amen. I'm going somewhere to happen for God. Amen. Regardless of what the world says. <laughs> Praise God. Keep going. Uh, go ahead. Psalms 23. Psalms 23 is you just to let you know that the Lord is our shepherd. Yes, He is. He is our pastor. Amen. I shall not want. He is the biggest God. He's bigger. Because he's my shepherd. Amen. And I shall not want. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, keep going. This is what we're going to do. We're going to magnify our Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Yes. Who are we magnifying? We're magnifying my big God. Yes. Amen. We're talking about my God is bigger. And this is how big he is. We magnify the Lord. Mm -hmm. Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Amen. Man, he's, Amen. he's above every everything. All things we said. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Psalms 34 and 3. I like these ones. Uh, Psalms 113, 3 and 4. They're back to back. Okay? I wrote them here together. But it says, From the rising of the sun to the going down, Praise. the name of the Lord is to be praised. Man, we talk about, again, a big God. Yes. From yes. the rising of the sun mm -hmm. till the going down. So, praise God. I'm not gonna forget. Don't you forget? That's Amen. it. Oh, man, this is this is great. What do I do? Praise Him. Yes. Anytime when you get up during the day, when things yes. are getting rough and tough, you yeah. know, you just go to Him and say, "Lord, I need Your strength." Amen. Thank you, Lord. I just want to praise You, Lord. You know. Yeah. <laughs> You're making God glad and the devil mad. Yeah. Because he don't want he don't want you to do this. <laughs> he don't he doesn't want you to do this. And you know, you might make your friends so, so called friends mad, you know. What are you doing, man? We're supposed to be taking a smoke break. We're supposed to be taking whatever kind of break. No, I'm just taking a scripture break. Oh Jesus. Amen. Man, I'm just taking a break to magnify my God, you know. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing this. I would have been chosen for this uh -huh. if it had been for my God. Amen. That's it. Praise God. From the rising of the sun to the going down, the same the, the name of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. And yeah, verse right. four, verse four says this it says, The Lord is high above all nations yeah. and his glory above the heavens. Yeah. Again, we need to see how big our God is. We're just going to hit on that 
bigger. <laughs> We're just going to hit on the big. This is how big. Since the Lord is high above all the nations and his glory above the heavens. I mean, he's heavens, earth, and under the earth. He is super. Okay? Yeah. He is big. Big, big, big. So praise God. Keep going. Man, these are good. I like these. Mark 11, 23 and 24 says, For surely I say unto you, whoever sits to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things which he says will be done, he will have what he says. Yes. The word of God works if you confess it. The word of God works if you confess the word. Yeah. But you have to believe. Amen. And then when you get it in you, now it's good. But now you got to believe it. If you're going to speak it, you're going to believe it. The word of God will work if you release it. You can have it in you, but if you don't release it, it ain't going to do nothing. You know, words are seeds. And if you have seed and you're holding on to it, ain't nothing going to happen. But if you plant it and sow it, it's going to grow. Uh -huh. Amen. So you release the word of God and it's going to grow. And it's going to accomplish what you set it out to do. Yeah. Because his word of God says so. Lord, this is what your word says. And I'm going to stand on your word. I'm believing what your word says. And we're holding him to it. And guess what? He's going to, he's going to see it through. Amen. And verse 24 says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you, 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 you can personalize it. Put your name there again. Or highlight it. Do whatever. It says, You ask when you pray. Believe that you, again, you receive them and you will have them. Okay? Well, it works for somebody else, but it never works for me. Well, quit saying that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. The word of God works if you work the word. Yes. The word of God works if you confess the word. And it'll work for you. The word of God works for me. I mean, I'd rather say that than say, well, it never works for me. Or that never happens to me. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be negative. You want to be positive. Amen. Amen. And I'm confessing the word of God. And I'm saying on the positive. Amen. I got, I'm got. i going to have the right attitude about it. Amen. Positive attitude. Therefore, I say to you, whatever you ask, when you, see how many times you it says, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. We're just going to be um, more consistent and have more faith in the word of God that we speak out. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. But then again, James 4, 7 tells us what? <laughs> James 4, 7 and 8 says this, Therefore, submit yourselves to God, resist yeah. the devil, and he'll flee from you. Yeah. The enemy is always coming against you, and he wants to stop you. He don't yeah. want you to succeed. He wants you to be down and out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Anybody can fall, but <coughs> not everybody wants to get up. That's it. We need to, hey, we've gone through some hard times, you know, and we've been down and out. But, you know, don't stay down and out. You're falling, you know, but it's time to get up. That's what God wants you to do. Don't quit. Don't give up. Get up. Dust yourself and says, Lord, I'm ready to press on again. So he says, go for it. Amen. He's called us to press on. He's called us to succeed, not be defeated. That's it. Amen. <laughs> there's, there's no defeat in him. So it shouldn't be none in you. It shouldn't be a quit. <laughs> you just press on. Press on. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, 1 Peter 5 says that cast in all you, well, uh, submit yourself, to resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. He's going to, he has to go. Yes, Why? Because he has to be obedient to what the Word of God says. Yes. Okay? He said, well, who do you think you are? Man, I'm bigger than you. No, you're not. You ain't bigger than my God. That's it. And I'm confessing the Word of God. And when I confess the Word, the Bible says that you have to flee. So, if he's still bugging you. Then let him know who he is. He's a defeated foe. He's a nobody. Get under my feet or take off. I'm I'm submitting myself to God. I'm resisting you, meaning I'm taking authority. Amen. You got to use that authority He's given us. And He'll flee. He has to go. You can't hang out. I say, I don't want you hanging out. You may. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. And then verse 8 says, draw near to God and he don't draw near to you. Mm -hmm. So, through relationship, 
through your studying, through being around believers, we assemble ourselves together and encourage one another and we grow and mature one another in the things of God. Yes. Amen. We don't come, again, I, I, I shared with the church this morning, we don't come to be entertained like the world does. <laughs> we come to be empowered. Amen. Amen. Because we're the body of Christ. We need to be empowered to go out and do what God wants us to do. Empowered, encouraged, and we step out in faith. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So draw near to God, He'll draw near to you. That's what the Word of God says. You know, I never feel God. He's never around me. Well, stop confessing that. Because He is. He says He never leaves you, He don't forsake you. That's if that's what the Word says, if that's what He says, we need to believe that. That's it. Amen. When you have a relationship, you start feeling that closeness. And you start feeling that. And you start thinking that way. And you feel that. And your Holy Spirit is going to be there for you. And He's going to remind you. It says, cleanse your hands, you sinners. And purify your hearts, you double-minded. Mm -hmm. So have no doubt. Because that's what the enemy comes to do. He tells us to do what? Renew our minds. Because we're in a negative world. You're bombarded with all kinds of negative things. Mm -hmm. Distractions and things coming against you. The enemy see to it. These things come against you. And there's every way you go in this world, you're going to see negative stuff. But he says, renew your mind as often as needed so that you can stay focused on what God wants you to do. Stay focused. Stay stirred up with Him. Yes. And press on with the things of God. Amen. Say, man, my, my, my priorities didn't change. Press on with Him. Press on with Him. Go and fulfill what He wants me to do. You've got a plan. You've got a mission. He's put you through. And he, and you got to press on and, and step out and go, keep going. Amen. So praise God. But <laughs> there's no room for double mind. That's it. When you start double minding, that means the enemy wants to steal, kill, and destroy. And you start doubting. And you start, well, and does that really work for me? I don't think this, this is for me. I don't think you start putting yourself down. Don't see yourself that way. See yourself the way God sees you. A winner, a champion, an overcomer. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Amen. That's what his word says. So I'm, that's what I'm going to confess. That's what I'm going to believe. And I'm going to step out. And I'm going to do. Amen. First Peter 5, 7 and 8 says, Casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Whatever cares are coming against you. Yours is different than mine, but still, they're called uh, worries, they're called anxieties, they're called problems, they're called troubles. Yes. And we all go through these things. Yes. Jesus says, I've been through these things, and you know what? They're going to come to you. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. He says, I've overcome these things, and so can you. Yes. I said, wait a minute. I'm just going to bathe myself, give myself a spiritual bath every time I get a chance, you know? Huh. <laughs> And, and, and don't allow the enemy to, to, to creep in, you know. Watch your words, watch your actions. It says, casting all cares on him because he cares for you. So be sober, be uh, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, again, we talked about this, your, your enemy, the devil, says your enemy, the devil, the foe, your rival, your challenger, your opponent, the devil, not anybody else. We're not talking about uh, we're talking about the devil. He says, goes about as a roaring lion seeking who you may consume. Who he, who, who he pursuing and hunt for, look, looking for and searching of. He's looking to see what you're doing. He's, he's looking to see what, what, what you're confessing. If you're confessing the negative, he, you're opening the door for him to step in. Yes, you are. So we don't want to do that. He wants to see who he may devour, consume, demolish, gulp. <laughs> he says, he don't give up until we resist him. We got to resist him. Amen. You know how to get rid of negative thoughts? Give them to God. Lord, <laughs> rebuke these things and get rid of them. Yes. Just delete them. Gone in Jesus' name. I don't want those no more. They're not for me. I gave them to them, so you go somewhere else. 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Just kind of know how strong you are in Him. Amen. Man, I'm, I'm strong in Him. And I, once again, I know 
who's backing me? And my God is there for me. Amen. Praise God. So when things go bad, when things sound bad, when things look bad, you go and you run to Him. You know, when Jesus needed strength, <laughs> He went to the Father. You don't have what He had. He knew he was going to be sacrificed. And he knew he had to go to the cross. To be sacrificed. And he says, Father, I need your help. Can you take this away from me? Can we find another way? <laughs> but not my will, but your will be done. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So we just need to line up with his word. He says, Lord, I can do all things through, through, through you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being there. And thank you that I can go to you. And speak to you. You know, you can go to the throne of grace anytime. You can go boldly to the throne of grace. Amen. And not only that, the Bible says that he sits at the right hand of the Father interceding for us. So he's praying for us. Amen. So he's there for us. He will help those that are in fear, hurting, seeking him, or drawing close to him. He's there for us. He's not going to push you away. We don't want to say Push ourselves away from us. Amen. Just like the prodigal son. Matthew 28, 11 and 28. And we've said this so many times, but still. He says, come to me, all of you. You, again, you can change that. Personalize that. Who labor in a heavy lightning. I will give you rest. 29 says, take my yoke upon you. And you, says, and learn from me. Yes. For I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. So what do I do on a daily basis? Call on Jesus. <laughs> Lord, here am I. Send me. Yeah. Amen. He gave you a wake-up call. He didn't give you a wake-up call so you can mope and groan and, and doubt and complain. He gave you a wake-up call so you can be busy for him. Yeah. First of all, say thank you, Jesus. Give him thanks. Amen. Thanksgiving is not, not the only time of the year that you thanks, thank Him for everything. Every day. Say, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to go and do for you. Amen. Thank you that you gave me the opportunity to fulfill what is it you called me to do. He gave every one of us a call. He's anointed every one of us. He's equipped every one of us yes, to do and fulfill what He wants us to do. <clears throat> but we need to do our part. <clears throat> he's done his part now we got to fulfill our part and you can do it because you can do all things through him all things. Amen. he's one God away he's one prayer away yeah. he's in about face yes. we talked about about face <clears throat> we practice that so much in military it's changing directions mm -hmm. I mean, we march all the time we practice marching all the time <clears throat> But you go in one direction, and they say all of a sudden he says, at about face, and you go change directions. Mm. Well, you know what? We've all done it. <laughs> we've all done an about face because we've been going the wrong way. And then we met Jesus, and we accepted Jesus, and we did an about face, and now we're going a, a new direction. Amen. And some of you are watching, some of you are listening, you're still going the wrong way. It's time for you to say, Lord, Lord, I've done you wrong. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. I want to change directions. But you have to confess him as your Lord and Savior. And it's time for running. We're going the wrong way. You know already. You know it's the wrong way. You know it's the wrong life. He didn't put you there to lose. He put you there to win. But you got to change directions. Do it about face and call him. And you'll change that. You change it by confessing him as you know the Savior. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. So Jesus called because he needed strength. So so can we. Prodigal son. <laughs> he was going the wrong way. And we've all made that mistake. Because we start living for the world. We start living for God. That's it. And we go the wrong way. It's time to come home. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I think I talked to you about Jonah in the belly of the big fish. My God is bigger than the big fish. Yes. <laughs> Amen. 
It took him three days in the in, in the belly of, of a big fish to finally confess to God. You that are watching, you that are listening, it's been a lifetime already. And you've been going the wrong way all this time. It's time. Speak. Confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior and come home. Amen. Amen. God is so big, He spoke to that fish. Only God can do this. Our big God can do this. But He spoke to that fish. And the fish went and spit him out. And then it went where He wanted Him to go and preach the word of God. Amen. So let's remember that. Oh, what, a, what a big God we serve. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Draw close to Him. And he'll draw close to us. We must do our part because he's already done his part. That's it. Amen. So don't fault him and don't look to him as the problem. We need to correct this problem. That means us. Amen. In Proverbs 3, uh, 30 through 32 says, Keep on. I'll read it to you from the New Living Version. It says, don't fight with a man for no reason. When he has done you no wrong. Do not be jealous of a man who hurts others and do not choose any of his ways. It says, for the bad man is hated by the Lord, but he is uh, close and near to those who are right with him. Amen. So he's, he's with us all the time. He never leaves you nor forsake you. So don't envy the ways of the world. That's it. Amen. Don't envy the ways of the world. Let's remember that. Woo! Hallelujah. I think we're going to be stopping there. All right. Draw close to God and He'll draw close to you. In yeah. prayer and praise and worship, in reading your word, studying your word, meditating on your word, be encouraged. Amen. And in closing, yeah. <laughs> let's remember. Uh, Again, enjoy the James 4, 7 that says, Draw near to God and He'll draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Amen. The battlefield is the mind. So you're going to have some negative thoughts, but you can correct that. The Bible says to renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. And those things have to go. Amen. you got to delete them and say, no, I'm not receiving that. Delete, delete, delete. I'm not receiving that. And Psalms 34 and 3 reminder said, Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. It says, From the rising of the sun to the going down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. That's on a daily basis, not just yeah. once in a while, you know, as often as you want to. Yeah. Amen. So let's draw near to God that we may experience his love, his power, his and his blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you receive? <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for being a big God for us, Lord. We just thank you that we can take your word and press on in what it is that you want us to do, Father God. In Jesus' precious name, some of you that are watching and listening, remember, if, if you're still running, know that this big God wants you back. Amen. So it's time for you to come home. All you have to do is confess him as your Lord and Savior. But you got to confess with your mouth. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And He will come into your life. Amen. And start changing. Start pressing on with Him. Because He's not holding you back. We are holding ourselves back. Yes. Because we want to do our own thing. Mm -hmm. It's time you do what He wants you to do. And He's qualified you to do all these things. We just need to line up with Him. And start pressing on with Him. Find yourself... A Bible-based church where you can learn the Word of God and read the Word and study the Word. Amen. And be encouraged. Amen. And not stop being put down. You know, quit putting yourself down. Amen. Amen. But press on with, with, with the Lord. Amen. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body, just say, body, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. I receive my healing right now in Jesus' name. Sometimes I tell my body, you know, hey, I'm hurting, but I'm receiving my healing. No, I don't receive any malfunctions in my body. Why? Because God created it to be perfect in Jesus' name. So no malfunctions in my body. Heal from head to toe according to the word of God. By his stripes I am healed. And that's what I'm confessing. So whose report is you going to believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. By his stripes I'm healed. Amen. Not by what others say, but what I'm confessing. Amen. So 
be healed in Jesus name amen praise God and it's time to give so praise God yes thank you Lord thank you Lord praise you Lord those of you watching just go to our website should be on our screen there in uh, NBCBigBand.com hit that donate button uh, if you're gonna mail it NBC PO Box 252 Martin Texas 79843 and cash app just go to the new beginnings church of the big band god loves you and we love you god bless amen amen so let's pray let's let you